Let's turn now, uh, Congresswoman, to Afghanistan. The images we've seen in the last couple of days uh, of Afghans running on the tarmac, trying to get on airplanes, obviously heartbreaking, and certainly for many of the men and women who served in yeah. Afghanistan, infuriating mm -hmm. to some degree. Why did it happen? Yeah. Um, I think there are a number of reasons. Um, you know, I think, first of all, uh, allowing our policy to be set um, around political slogans is uh, extremely dangerous. And so we've had now three presidents, essentially, um, you know, Obama, uh, uh, Trump, and now Biden, all of whom said, oh, we have to end the endless wars. Um, 2,500 forces on the ground in Afghanistan to prevent the Taliban from being able to do what they've now done, to prevent safe havens uh, that the Taliban, who, by the way, never has renounced al-Qaeda. Uh, in fact, the leader of the Taliban swears allegiance to the leader of al-Qaeda. Um, anybody who tells you uh, that the Taliban renounced al-Qaeda or that they ever agreed to renounce al-Qaeda is just not true. Um, and so we should have done a better job, our leaders should have done a better job at explaining to the American people why we need troops deployed, why they're important for counterterrorism efforts, for our counterintelligence efforts. Um, and uh, the, the notion that you're you know, going to simply announce we're withdrawing uh, was wrong. I think it reflects a misunderstanding about America's role in the world. Uh, and again, what we were able to accomplish with you know, a relatively small force um, was certainly an important element of our security. And when you look at what's happened today, it is heartbreaking. Uh, and, and on top of the fact that the policy of withdrawal was wrong, certainly the way that it's done is, is indefensible. And I just saw before I came that there's been this announcement sent out to Americans in Kabul, you know, get yourselves to the airport and we'll get you out. But the U.S. military cannot protect you getting to the airport. Mm. Um, now that is absolutely stunning and unacceptable.